Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Specialist for Expression. I'm going to show you some basic functionality in Expression by using one of our website starters. Because you're a developer, I know you're eager to get under the hood and learn how to customize this website. So let's explore how Expression let you easily access and edit any markup as well as your content. We'll keep it very simple to start. For this exercise, I'm using the About Us section of the Photography Website Starter. This example illustrates a pretty typical layout with content on the left and an image on the right. In this exercise, I'm going to show you two things. First, we'll learn how to edit content in a backend of expression. And second, I will introduce you to the bundle editor where we can make changes to the site markup and affect the display of the front end. It's important to note that these general concepts apply to any site built in expression, but obviously the markup and data will vary from site to site. First, let's edit the content of this article by clicking the edit content icon from the front end editor. This will take me directly to this specific article where you'll have access to all article properties not just those exposed within the front-end editor. As you become more efficient with expression, you might also choose to navigate directly to this article within the backend of expression. In the backend, you have access to the full sitemap and content tree. Just click on the content tab in the main menu and select the web domain you want to explore. Navigate to the appropriate section, which is about us in this instance. In this view, you can see a list of articles within this section, but in this case, there's only one. To edit an article, click on the pen edit icon. You can also double click it too. This will open the article editor, where in the default view, you can make changes to the title, description, and content of this article. You can also choose to change the attached image for this article. Also, you can access and edit more in-depth article properties, such as SEO, scheduling, custom fields, and much more. For more in-depth information about content management, Check out our series of videos and tutorial on our website and YouTube. Once you're done, click Save and Publish and refresh the browser to see the changes. As you can see, the title and content match the changes I made in the article editor. However, notice that the description field is still not displaying on the website. This is because the description field hasn't been added to the markup yet. To display the description, we need to get into the HTML to add a value for it, as well as some CSS tweaks. This is done in what we called an expression bundle, which is a central place that organizes your code, making it easier to develop your web page or application. Bundles help you group your code and manage all the dependencies for you, all within a unified and portable container. There are countless ways to utilize expression bundles, far too many to go into it here. But for this exercise, I'm only going to focus on what we called elements, which are bespoke chunks of markup. To access the bundle editor, click on the edit code icon. Alternatively, you could choose to navigate directly to the bundle editor by clicking on the develop tab of the main menu, then bundles. Look for the bundle you want to edit. For this exercise, we need to edit the bundle name about us. To open it, simply click on it. Let's modify the About Us page element. Here, we'll add a description field using handlebar syntax. Notice that Expression also has an autocomplete feature that shows you all the available object properties that you can use. Once done, save and run the element. To see a more detailed view of the available properties for any element, you can refer to the data preview list within the configuration panel. Make sure to save the bundle before you close it. Refresh the browser window to see the changes on the website. You'll notice the description field has appeared, but the alignment is still a bit off. Also, when I looked at the HTML for this element, I noticed a stray inline style that shouldn't be there. We'll go back to the tab with the open bundle, edit the element and remove the inline style from the HTML and save the bundle. Now let's go and edit one of the linked CSS files and fix the spacing. Double click on the About Us CSS file to edit it. Expression as an auto suggest feature, which will help to speed up the process. Once the changes are done, resave the bundle and refresh the browser to see the changes in the front end. And voila, even spacing. This was a very simple exercise to get you started editing content in Expression, as well as into the markup, 
objects and basic CSS in the bundle editor. These are just the basic building blocks and we encourage you to continue watching our series of videos and tutorials to learn more about all the things Expression can do. We can't wait to see what you build.